Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. I'm going to show you today in this video how to make these cute little booklets from this page here. This is from the Meal, 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 Meal <laughs> paper collection and this is part of the album that we're working on. I used one of these little booklets as an insert. I had originally made these to go on the cover, made this to go on the cover. Uh, but I haven't done the cover cover yet. I mean, I've done the outside of the cover, but I have not uh, designed what I want to go on top of it yet. But this was, whoops, this was the last video. And I used one of the pieces that I made, which is these two pieces right here, as an insert. So this is all part of an album. I have a playlist for this album. I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box. And there's also uh, a special Amazon list for this album. And... I've got links to everything I'm using down below in the description box. I think now they've changed it to where you have to, it'll show you a little bit of the description, then it'll say dot, 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 um, read more or something if you're on your phone. I don't know. They change it all the time. I think they're just trying to be me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really, really simple. I'm just going to need this piece of paper here and or this piece of the pattern paper. And I think I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut this off. That's what I'm going to do. Cut the long tab off. And then I'm going to take it and separate it in half. So I did grab an extra sheet because I have extras. I always buy extra paper pads just in case I really make a major boo-boo. So I'm going to make the exact same ones that I already have made, which I'll just use either in another place or in this journal. Either one, totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it intact like this. I don't know what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna score it down the middle if it looks right. And it may be a little crooked. Let me see here. No, because that's just kind of coming over to that side. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up straight here and hope for the best. Oop, I got off a little bit. Okay, so for the original ones I made, I used lined paper and coffee stained paper. So I think I'm just going to use lined paper this time. You can, you, you obviously, you can put whatever you want in it. You just don't want it super, super, super thick. So I'm going to grab some of this vintage lined paper that I have. And I'm just going to grab, let's see, one, two, let's do two per book. Let's do four. I'm going to grab four of them. And I think, I think, do I want those holes? I may not want those holes. Will that be okay? I think that would be okay. I can cut that whole section off. All right, so I'm just going to do this. Now, I do need to separate these two. Now, I just wanted to score them all at the same time. So, now I am going to separate them in half. Like that. I might even take this little top off. It's not necessary, but... This one has one on the bottom. I might take that off too. Just because. Okay, so I'm going to gently prep this fold. It's not gonna match up perfectly on the back, but that's because of the way this page was printed. So I'm going to do both of them really quick. And I'm not pressing really hard. You see, I'm just leaving them 
a little bit. So I'm going to take two pieces of each one. Again, you could put as many as you would like. And I'm going to... I'm going to mark it and cut it. Or I guess I could tear it. I guess it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to use this also. The smaller pieces also in here. Like this. Why not? There's no reason to get rid of them. So I've got that one. And then... I don't even have to, I don't even have to mark it. I'll just tear it. Same thing. in here and I'm going to clip them I'm going to take a pokey tool and I'm just going to poke in the center in the crease here. Careful, this one here, I've got it linked down below, but this one, I poked, it's so pointy and sharp. I poked through my finger. I don't even, I don't even remember which one it was, but boy, it bled. So I'm just poking three holes. And then I'm going to grab a needle and my chunk of beeswax and, whoa, <laughs> this is that golden white, um, the golden white baker's twine that I think is so pretty. And I'm going to just run some wax on it. It doesn't have to be beeswax, I don't think. I mean... I don't, I don't know that for sure because I'm not a, I'm not an uh, expert, but I'm just going to run some. I'm not even cutting it off of there, if you haven't noticed. I've got a big old needle here. And this is, it's kind of a blunt, it's not pointy. So if you have a needle that's pointy, just use that. Okay, so I'm going to go from the inside, come out to the outside, go down to the bottom, come back in to the inside, go all the way up to the top, go back out to the outside, and then come back in the middle and go on the other side of that. So then you want to give it a little gentle squeeze, squeeze, or pull, pull, <laughs> and tie it. I just tied mine in a bow. I just thought that was kind of cute. And of course I've got way too much but that's just because I'm working quickly. I use this for something else. All right, and let me do this other one really quick. All right, so then you can burnish it just a little bit. Right? And so you have choices here. You can, if you want to, you can trim these off even. Well, some these little shorter ones you might have to trim off even. Or you can fold these in on itself like that. And you can either have a, a pocket or a fold out. So I'm just going to do that to one. Uh, maybe I'll do that to this short one over here too. Well, I guess I could do it to both short ones. And I could do it to both long ones. How about that? We'll just do that. All 
Or, or you can always just tear it off like that. All right, but then there's still, like there's still this piece over here. So I am gonna take my craft mat, and my ruler, my, oh, you know what I was gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you another option. I'm gonna use this decorative edge paper trimmer here. And that's what I did on my other one anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna trim the edge all the way down. Just like that to give it a little bit. You could do the top and bottom if you want to. Um, I did on these, right, you can see the difference. I did on those, right? But um, anyway, I'm just gonna do that one side. How about that? So I got that one. And then like, let's just like chop this whole thing off. Which one's the, yep. So. if you just take your time, take a minute, right? And so now we've got that deckled edge. And I'm gonna put these in my scraps, my scrap drawer over here, my crafty scrap drawer. And this too. And then I just inked it and put a paper clip on it. Okay, so uh, you can either do one of these little clippy doos, right, and keep it closed that way, or you can attach it to a page with one of these little clip. These are te teeny, teeny, tiny little things, aren't they? But you can do that, or you can do a little mini paper clip like that, like that one there. Right. Or you could do a regular size paper clip. What else do I have? I have these little clips. You can keep it shut that away. You can use some seam binding and tie a bow. Just which, whichever. I'm gonna put a paper clip on this other one. Cause I don't know, I mean, I'm just showing you examples. I don't know where these are gonna go now that I have doubles. <laughs> but um, it might not, there might not be enough broom for much thickness so so yeah so that's that's that that's exactly how I made these cute little booklet inserts it's exactly the same oh I didn't I didn't ink it as heavy as, as, it, as it appears <laughs> except I didn't also didn't chomp the top and the bottoms right so that's exactly how I did it all right you guys let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.